Just one more to go. We're finally here. It's the last game of the 2019 MLS regular season. Toronto FC and the Columbus Crew right here at BMO Field this Sunday. It's a day appropriately called MLS Decision Day 2019 because there's plenty to be decided. Gareth Wheeler with you. This is your TFC Insider presented by the all new Kia Telluride. There's plenty of different permutations. We know who Toronto FC will not be playing as the seven playoff teams in the Eastern Conference have punched their tickets. But before we look ahead, we should take a quick look back on decision days of years past. The final days of the MLS regular season, well, they haven't gone so well in past years for this club. 2009, TFC a chance to punch their playoff ticket for the first time in club history. It didn't work out so well on the game that shall not be named a 5-0 loss at the last place at that time, New York Red Bulls. In 2015, TFC had already punched their playoff ticket. It was about getting home field advantage. TFC and Montreal to take on the impact. A second half brace by Didier Drogba meant that TFC fell from third to sixth. There has been some good in 2017, shall I just say 69 points. It was a 2-2 draw, a dramatic one at that. A Javinka wonder strike off a free kick gave Toronto FC at that time the most points in MLS history. So there's plenty on the line. For Toronto FC, they just need to go out and win. They're currently sixth place in the Eastern Conference. They can fall anywhere to seventh in the conference and they can go all the way up to fourth, which would mean them hosting a home playoff date. The two teams that will be watching from afar, specifically in terms of Toronto FC climbing the table, DC United host FC Cincinnati. They're two points better than Toronto FC, but a draw or a loss at home, and they don't have Wayne Rooney on decision day, means that Toronto FC with a victory would jump over them. Same thing goes for the New York Red Bulls. They travel to Montreal to take on the impact. A loss or a draw for the Red Bulls and a TFC win would mean that TFC would leapfrog over them. Those are the two things that have to happen combined with the TFC win to have them come fourth place in the conference, in the conference and play right here at BMO come playoff time. So what are we looking for for Toronto FC and who would they prefer to play? The feeling is no team in particular. TFC has had a level of success against all playoff opponents. Against Atlanta United, a win and a loss on the season. Against the Philadelphia Union, same thing. An opening day home win against the Union team that has now lost two of their last three games. DC United, two draws against them. And as for the New York Red Bulls, a win and a loss against the New York side. All those four teams, they have their strengths, they have their weaknesses, and with Toronto FC on this unbeaten run, they're gonna feel confident that they're a difficult out no matter who they play. It's a Trillium Cup rival. It's Tim Bezvichenko, TFC's former general manager, his own side coming back into BMO Field, trying to play spoiler, and TFC with that carrot being dangled. It's a potential home field advantage date from the first round of the 2019 MLS Cup playoffs. It's all to play for. We're expecting a big crowd out this Sunday afternoon. It's Fan Appreciation Day. Come on out, support your Reds. It's a big one right here at your home field.